In the first video in this series, I built a crypto mining rig designed to use solar power. But my existing off-grid solar panel system wasn't up to the task of running it around the clock. So in this video, I'm beefing up the solar to make it work. If you watched my recent video on my new Magnum Energy solar equipment, you've already seen the extra solar panels that I installed on the roof of my shed. I had some 100 watt solar panels lying around that I was not using, that were from previous review videos, so I might as well put them to good use. And that was the perfect excuse to install the amazing Magnum Energy inverter and charge controller into the mix. If you haven't watched that video, please go check it out. Anyways, that bumps us up to 1,000 watts of solar incoming to charge the batteries through three different charge controllers to try to maximize the power from the mismatched panels. So, after installing the new solar panels and the Magnum Energy components, I tested running the crypto mining rig to see if that fixed our problem. So it turns out the extra solar wasn't enough. I need at least a couple more hours worth of battery capacity. So after extensively testing this and figuring out it's not going to run all the way through the night, it cuts off in the morning just before the sun really starts producing power. I was afraid of that. Incoming solar power wasn't the problem, at least not yet. I knew even last episode that we would need to add batteries, but we still need the extra solar panels if we're adding more batteries so that we make sure that that new battery capacity can be refilled every day. What I had to do was add more battery capacity. I already had the bigbattery.com battery, and so I had these MillerTech uh, economy series, these B cell batteries, uh, laying around, not no longer being used for what I had originally got them for. So they're perfect for this application. They're both 24 volt, 60 amp hour. So that adds quite a bit more capacity to the system. So I wired those in parallel into the system. So between the extra solar power and the massive increase in battery capacity, we should be good to go now. Hopefully this does the trick. All right, so I think we have success here. As you can see, it's about 9 a.m. This is about when the system would fail in the past the uh, the crypto mining uh, rig would uh, stop working because the batteries would or the battery would stop working as you can see we're still at a pretty good voltage 26 25.9 in that range um, the Miller techs definitely did the trick added that extra capacity so you'll see Nothing special. This is a very low-end mining rig, and that's fine. This is not to show you how to set up a professional, you know, system or anything like that. It's just to sh kind of illustrate what all would be required to power this with solar. Okay, so we moved the ball forward and accomplished our goal for this episode. In the next and final episode, we'll cross off the rest of the to-do items and talk numbers and dollars and cents. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification icon so you know when I upload the final episode in this series. Thanks for watching.